Hi, I'm Ken Morton Jr. I'm with MortonGolfSales.com and our flagship golf shop, Hagen Oaks Golf Super Shop. Ken, we're looking through the mailbag today and we've got lots of questions. The one that came up today was kind of what's the difference between a full-faced wedge and a non-full-faced wedge? Now, full-faced wedges are kind of a new modern take on golf wedges and we're going to get into kind of what makes them a little bit different and maybe why you'd want to have one in your bag. But if you like this question and want to see some more before we get rolling, ring that bell, subscribe. We've got new videos coming out all the time and would love to take you on that journey as we discover and talk about all things golf. Now we'll talk about wedges. So a wedge hasn't changed a whole lot for you know, the past decades. Most of the technology that's gone into them has been moving the center of gravity around the faces, but most importantly with the grooves on the face. So a typical wedge has always seen the grooves in the very center of the golf club here with that's framed with non-grooves on the face. So out here on the toe there has not been any grooves, down here on the hosel uh, part of the golf club there hasn't been any grooves and it's kind of framed the golf ball a little bit. What that's done is it's allowed you to uh, play the ball anywhere on the face. What it hasn't done, however, is that when the golf club is opened up and you create more loft, or if you're putting it and using it kind of like a chipper, it hasn't allowed you to use much of the uh, area out on the toe. And so with that advent, they actually have done that with some new full-faced wedges that we'll take a look at. So it's kind of one of those aha moments with full-faced wedges. If you've got that space on the face, why not use it all? And that's really what the vendors have done. As you can see here with this particular wedge, the grooves actually go from all the way to the hosel, all the way out to the very toe of the golf club. And they've, uh, it maximizes the amount of groove space that you can put on the face. So now if you actually want to use the very tip of the golf club and that ball rolls up the face, you're actually gonna get the benefit in the spin that's created from grooves out on that toe. If you want to open up the face and actually put more loft on the golf club and that ball lands here in the middle but then actually travels up towards the toe of the golf club, now you have grooves that are out on the toe that are still gonna grip that golf ball, create backspin on it and hold that ball when it lands on the green. Now there's several different golf club, club companies that are actually doing full-faced wedges. The one I have in my hand is one called the Bigfoot from uh, TaylorMade. We also have the Cobra, the new snake bite wedge. They have a full-faced version right here. And then our best seller is the Cleveland full-faced wedge. They actually have it in a few different models here uh, with the CBX and now a, a new one coming out from in the RTX family. So again, because Hagen Oaks is so unique, I'd encourage you to come on out. You can actually try them free of charge out on the driving range, or you can talk to our experts at mortongolfsales.com and they can find that perfect wedge for you. If you like this content, I'd encourage you again, subscribe. We've got new content coming out all the time. Try to educate everybody and we'll look forward to talking to you next time.